What does Guy Fieri have to do with Keebler cookies? Absolutely nothing. I was just recently at his downtown Flavor Town in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and I got a new t-shirt and I wanted to show it off. But I am going to talk about Keebler cookies today. There are at least four new varieties of Keebler cookies out there right now. How do I know there are four? Because I've got all of them right here, and we're going to try them all. Goblin, Destin Goblin here. This is where I will try a food product of some kind, maybe something you didn't even know existed, and I will decide whether or not I should give it my Destin the Goblin seal of approval. <laughs> Keebler has put out a variety of new cookies right now, lots of different flavors. There are at least four new flavors that I have come across. I am going to try them all. We Here we have the Chips Deluxe with uh, M&M's. So this is a uh, double chocolate chip made with M&M's. That sounds very good. Then we've got Chips Deluxe Dipped Duos. So if you look right there on the package, you can see that the bottom of the cookie is dipped in chocolate. I am excited to try those. Then we've got Pecan Sandies. These are Cranberry Almond. Now, I will admit I am not a huge fan of these cookies, of these Pecan Sandy uh, cookies. Um, I'm also not a huge fan. I actually guess these aren't Pecan. These are just Sandy's cookies. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of Cranberry, but we're going to give these a shot. We'll see how that goes. And then look at this. Fudge Stripes, but now we've got Chocolate Fudge Strawberry, and the cookie itself is strawberry. So... We'll go into this knowing that these are prepackaged cookies. So if you are a big fan of cookies, but you like more fresh things, maybe these prepackaged snacks are not for you. But if you like the cookies that you can get down your cookie aisle, the ones that are available in all of the grocery stores, everybody's got access to them. Keebler is one of the better options that you have out there. So let's go ahead and start with the Chips Deluxe with the M&Ms. Now these are 160 calories for two cookies. And of course, what do I always say about cookies? When you eat cookies, you gotta have milk. So I've got Monster Mug loaded with some fresh cold milk there. And uh, we will try one of these cookies on its own and then we'll do a little dunk test. Okay, so again, these are Chips Deluxe. This is double chocolate chip with M&Ms in it. So you can see those cookies in the package right there. Let's get one of these out, get a closer look at it. So you can see all of those M&Ms baked into it. Nice chocolate cookie there, double chocolate cookie. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how that flavor is. Mm. So this one is very crispy, very crunchy cookie. And then you get an extra crunch from the M&M as well. Um, if you like M&Ms, you probably like when you crunch through that shell and then you get that chocolate burst. You definitely get that with this cookie as well. You also get a real double punch of chocolate in there from the chocolate cookie to the M&M, the chocolate in the M&M. This is a good one. All right, so there's another one of those cookies. Let's do a little bit of a dunk test here. Let's see how well the cookie holds up to the milk. And we'll see if the milk sort of helps that chocolate flavor even more. There we go. Mm. So obviously I didn't over dunk that one. I didn't keep that cookie submerged for too long. Um, the cookie held up very nicely. Sometimes you put some of the softer cookies in there and they immediately start to just kind of crumble, just kind of disintegrate in the milk. This one holds up pretty well to the milk and the milk brings out more of that chocolate flavor as well. Okay, that was a good start. Now we're gonna move on to the Chips Deluxe Dipped Duos, Keebler Fudge Dipped Duos. These are 190 calories per serving, which is two cookies. So 190 for these. 
if I haven't said this before, chocolate chip cookies are my favorite type of cookie overall. And then when you start talking about dipping the bottom in chocolate, you've really got my attention now. So there are those cookies in the package. Let's get one of those out. So here we go. Here's a closer look. Um, Keebler never skimps on the chocolate chips. So you can see all of the chocolate chips there in the cookie. Flip it around and look at all that chocolate on there. Here we go. Excited about this one. So obviously not as chocolatey as the last cookie because obviously you don't have that chocolate cookie itself. But you do have all those chocolate chips. You have that chocolate on the bottom. I thought there might be a little bit more chocolate flavor than this one actually brings. But again, it is a thinner cookie. It's a little bit thinner than that last one. There's a very nice crunch in it. Nice and sweet. Good amount of chocolate flavor in it. Another good one. I'm sort of wondering what's going to happen to these in our dunk test. Because number one, we do have all that chocolate on the back. But number two, this is a much thinner cookie overall than that last one. It is nice and crispy. It's very crunchy. It's got a good sweet flavor to it. It's got a good cookie flavor to it. Let's see what the milk does. That actually held up to the milk better than I had anticipated. I thought because it was thinner, maybe this was going to kind of crumble as soon as it hit the milk. It didn't. It held up. All right, we're going to shift gears a little bit. We're going to go on to the Sandies. These are 170 calories per serving, which I'm assuming is two cookies as well. Yep, two cookies. Um, again, these are cranberry almond. Um, as I said, I'm not a real big fan of the Sandies cookies. I'm not a real big fan of cranberry also, but we'll see. These do actually look pretty nice. So there they are inside the package looks like maybe they're you know, upside down in this package so there's a better look at them right there cranberry almond i think i just prefer chocolate chip cookies i prefer chocolate cookies maybe that's why i haven't really loved these in the past but there's one of those cranberry almond sandies so there we go Looks like they're cooked pretty nicely. You can see some of those pieces of the almond and the cranberry in it. Let's see what the flavor's like. That is a very crunchy cookie. I actually had a little bit of a problem biting through that. I was afraid if I bit down too hard, the whole cookie was gonna crumble. Um, and the flavor on this one it's cranberry almond, and there's obviously cranberry pieces in it. I taste almost no cranberry at all. The flavor is very overwhelmingly almond, which is a good flavor. One of the things that I haven't liked about these Sandy's cookies is the texture. They, they are a very uh, different type of texture than your chocolate chip cookie or some of the other cookies that Keebler puts out. They feel almost a little more grainy. Um, they, they do crumble a little bit more, but then they are a crunchier, harder cookie overall as well. And that, I think, has kind of turned me off a little in the past. It's a good flavor, though. So I got one of those bigger pieces of cranberry at the end of that one. And obviously, it's going to be dried cranberries that are in there. And it was a little bit gummy. And it sort of changed the texture a little bit more than I was anticipating would happen. Um... Not necessarily in a good way. I'm not sure about these. So we're going to go ahead and do our dunking test here. And in at least in, in my case, this might actually help this cookie because it might soften it up a little bit um, to the point where I might enjoy this a little bit more. The milk definitely softened it up, but the, the cranberry is very odd it's an odd texture change the gumminess of the cranberry 
is kind of putting me off a little bit. If you've ever had those shortbread cookies with the jelly in the center, um, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'll see if I can get a picture up there um, in case you've never seen them, but I'm sure you've had them before. I'm not a big fan of those. And that is what this reminds me of a lot. I do like the flavor on this. It is very predominantly an almond flavor. It is a very good flavor. Um, it just some of the things about the texture are what I'm not really crazy about here. The milk definitely softens those up. Um, if you like a softer cookie, that's the way to go is to dunk it in something. You could even dunk that in coffee. I think that would be great as well. Here are the fudge stripes. These are 140 calories for two cookies, I'm assuming. Yep, two cookies, 140 calories. Um, these also don't have that nice pull tab, so I'm going to have to open these uh, on the side. And this is the only one that says limited edition. I didn't see that on any of the other ones, so these may only be around for a short time. Wow, the aroma on that. Very strong strawberry aroma coming off of that. So there's some of those cookies. Look at the coloration on that. Definitely brightly colored, not what you would expect when you pull out one of these uh, fudge stripes cookies from Keebler. Again, all the chocolate on the back, all the stripes on the front, what they are known for. But then of course you've got that cookie change right there, strawberry cookie, instead of the usual that you're gonna get on those fudge stripes cookies. Here we go. Mm. There's a good strawberry flavor there. It is that artificial strawberry flavor, um, but if you've had any of these prepackaged snacks before that are strawberry flavored, you've tasted this flavor. It's actually not as strong as the aroma that comes off of this. That The aroma of the strawberry is overpowering. I mean, you think when you bite into this, you're going to get a huge burst of strawberry flavor in your mouth, but it really is a little bit more subtle than that. And the chocolate does complement it. it. It does go together well with the, with the strawberry. Um, not quite as sweet as I thought this might be. The thing that I am really taken aback with on these is the fact that these are not as sweet as I thought they would be. It, it's a good flavor. I think, actually, in this case, I might have liked it just a little bit sweeter. So we're going to do a little bit of a dunk there. There we go. Let's see how the uh, flavor holds up. Not sure if you can see him or not, but in the uh, corner next to me here is Saki. I know you've seen sushi before, but Saki has not really made his presence known on camera. So you might get a chance to see him. There we go. I don't know that the milk really significantly changed this one very much. Um, it, it did soften the cookie up a little bit. Didn't uh, do anything to the flavor. Didn't help it. Didn't hurt it. Um, I don't know. All right. Well, those are the four new Keebler cookies that are out there right now. I can't say that any of them were bad. I can't say that any of them were outstanding. They're all good. They're all nice cookies. They're all um, for your prepackaged snacks, your prepackaged cookies. They're all very good entries into the things that you will find in that section of your grocery store. I'm going to say overall, that's a very solid two-star seal of approval. All right, check those out while you can. Those strawberry fudge stripes are definitely a limited edition. They say it right on the package. Everything else looks like maybe they might be permanent. Um, so check those out. They're all decent cookies. They're not bad at all. Um, I did gather those over four different stores. So I have not seen all of these in one location. So you might have to hunt around a little bit to try them all, but they are out there. And if you find yourself in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, Definitely check out Guy Fieri's downtown flavor town. He's got some incredible dishes uh, on the menu in that restaurant. It is an experience that you will not forget. So check that out when you can, and I will catch you next time. Yeah.